Hey everybody, how's it going? The Johnny Cage here, welcoming you back for more of Let's Play Lufia 2. Last time we left off, we beat the Regal Goblin and got back the Shrine Key, and now we're being offered by Hilda to stay at her inn for free next time we're in Tanbol, which just so happens to be the next town we're going to. So let's uh, do the honor here of opening up the door for the other uh, villagers to pass through to their little remote forest village. Thanks to all your trouble. Goodbye. Well, not very goodbye for long, seeing as how the next place we're going to happens to be where you're from. I love these green cesspools of teleportation. They're just really cool looking. really love them just standing there looking at them swirling around. So, here we are in Tanbo. Well, that didn't take long. Oh, you came to Tanbo. Let's see. I guess I haven't got your names. I'm Johnny, and this is Tia. Hello. Thank you so much for what you did at the small shrine. Oh, it's you, brother. I was just ta about to go and talk with you. Hilda, who are these people? They found the key when I was in trouble at the small shrine. This is Johnny and Tia. Glad to meet you. This is my brother, Guy. I hear you helped my sister at the small shrine. Thank you. Johnny, please stay here today. I'll cook something special for you. That's a great idea. I don't know about her other abilities, but her cooking is pretty good. And just what do you mean by that? Shove. Well, is there anything else you can do really well? I just, I just can't think. What are you saying? I manage an inn, cook, clean, and even do the laundry. You can't do anything. I do my own laundry. Yeah, right. If tearing clothes apart is called doing laundry, you do that really well, huh? Yeah, grumble, grumble. Ha 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 ha. Men can do a thing by themselves, yet act like they rule the world. Don't you agree, Tia? Yeah, I know what you mean. What? Never you mind. Ha 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 ha. In any case, please stay today. Hula, why don't you go and fix something up? Coming right up. Back to the kitchen with you, Hilda. I'll be in the square out back training. Why don't you join me later? Sure, I'd love to. See you then. Oh, they appear so close. Yeah, they're close. <laughs> That's all I have to say. Yeah, I guess they're pretty close. So here's Tanbo, show you around a little bit. You got the church there. Up there you have an item shop, which is the first time we've seen one of those, but you don't go to them very much because they just sell... Uh, they're just shops, but um, they're just items. I don't know why they couldn't include items in the shop here like a normal shop would, but um, it's important when you get here, if you have the money to do so, upgrade your equipment right away because you don't want to give any spoilers, but you just might find yourself in a fight soon enough. So we'll upgrade ourselves, make sure you get the best of the equipment, don't sell for something lesser. And here I have to make a choice. I'll lower my intelligence to have more defense. That sounds like a fair trade-off, right? Yeah, totally. Here's the magic shop, Let's see what we got there. Certainly very overpriced spells, I would imagine. Uh, Spark, Droplet, Gale, which is new. Uh, that's a pretty good uh, like ice-based kind of a move. Flash, which is even better. We saw the evil catfish of Subtleton use that against us, and now it's finally our chance to fight back with some Flash! Ah! And not the Pokemon kind of Flash, either. So you come up here to the square. Hey, Johnny, are you ready to have a little match? Yes. Yes, I am. Well, let's get it on, then. Can I strut all my stuff? Um, you better... Or you might end up getting hurt. You're that confident, huh? Okay, coming at you. Guy! <laughs> People named Guy. What? We're just getting to the fun part. Guy! Monsters! Monsters in town! What? Uh-oh. Get ready for some intense graphics. What the? Whoa! Look at the red stars. Oh, man. They look like monsters in lab coats and some sort of raccoon guy. Are you the strongest man around? I'm the best. Around. I'll introduce myself after if you get through my henchmen. Let's have a match after this. Let's take care of these punks. Good thinking. Let's clean up this scum. I'm with you, Robocop. Alright, so here we go. Uh, the first thing you're going to notice about Guy right away is that he has no MP. He's got a ton of HP, he's got a ton of attack, he's got no MP, which is great for me because that's exactly how I like to play. So you definitely want to change up your party format to have him and your main character uh, in the front. But for this battle, you'll just have to go with how it is. And it's not a problem. These guys are really easy. Of course, I'm overpowered. You get to see some use of the flash here. Just against one enemy, it does 60, which is pretty good. Almost as good as my normal attack for uh, for Johnny, which is, you know, plus. Look at that. 16 HP for Guy. That's insane. He's a really great fighter to have on your team. Is that it? Whoa, way too easy. My men, blast it! Hey, you're next. 
Rats in your eyes! <laughs> Who says that? Who says rats in your eyes? That's just great. Some interruption, huh? Well, let's get on with our match. Guys, some weird man took Hilda away. What? Do you look like a raccoon? That scumbag. He ran to the southeast tower. Thanks. I'll go with you, guy. The tower's full of monsters. It's too dangerous. But not for you, I guess. Let's go. Guy joins the party. Oh, yeah. So now we've got Guy on the team. And he is going to be a very worthwhile member. And we are going to go into one of the... Um, first, this is the first tower of the game, which is more difficult than a dungeon, definitely longer. But anyhow, that's all the time I have for today. Sorry, it was kind of a short video, guys, but I'm going to upgrade a guy here. When we come back, we're going through a tower. It's going to be crazy epic, so join me next time. I'll see you all then. Take care.